OK, thank you for calling. Fast as a biscuit. You saw that, okay? But that didn't happen. Look, I have some telekinetic powers, okay? <laughs> but it's really nothing. Nothing? You can move objects with your mind! Shh! No one can ever know. Also, it's very limited. I can really only do it with biscuits. Even so, it's a gift. You should share it with the world. No. I vowed never to use my powers. Why not? Because when I do, things happen. <laughs> Dark, terrible things. <laughs> At first, I thought it was harmless. I suppose I was so high on the thrill I didn't realise. But even then, my powers were consuming me like I was the last segment of a high-quality shortbread fan. <laughs> Is that you? Rod? Gosh, what, what a surprise. Why didn't you call me? It was complicated. Your mother told me you died. No, I, I didn't want to hurt you, and you were so persistent. I, still, uh, water under the bridge, eh? All my rage and fear welled up inside me and expressed itself in biscuit form. Are you all right, mate? <laughs> It's a curse, my friend. Tragedy has stalked me at every turn. That's why you can never tell. No, you were just a kid then. You're older now and wiser. You're manager of this sub-team, for God's sake. Think of the good you could do with one of these now. Not with that one, actually. That's a Jaffa cake. It's not a true biscuit. <laughs> Whatever. The point is you could do great works, become famous, or at least get a better job. Something in hospitality, perhaps? No, it's too dangerous. Damn it, I won't let you squander your gift. I'm gonna call my friend. He's a manager at McVitie's. <laughs> no! You don't know what you're doing! Hi, Austin. Yeah, it's Dan. Dan, crikey, it's been a while since I've heard from you. How are you? Yeah, great! <laughs>